Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Point Guard Perspective. And I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all about two months ago, a month and a half ago, I told y'all when you run your office through a big man who scores or shoots less than 40% from the field, you're going to get fired. When you are literally going out your way to make sure that this person gets the ball on the block or you're running plays through them, instead of going to probably the, the better person on your team, Camilla Cadosa down there on the blocks and making the offense run through her on the blocks, you're going to get fired. And that's ultimately what happened to Teresa Weatherspoon. Welcome, man. Welcome to Come On Now, the podcast. And like I said, this is the point guard perspective. And we are diving into Teresa Weatherspoon getting fired after her first season of going 13 and 27. Ultimately, the team failed and she failed as the head coach with controlling what was going on with that organization or what was going on with their players or what was going on throughout the whole team for the whole season. When you're, when you're, one of your better players come in mid season and demands a trade because she don't like what's going on. She sees, she sees the writing on the wall. She sees that we're trying to, instead of winning games, we are trying to stat pad for Angel Reese. That becomes a problem. You lose your locker room. You lose your team because you didn't prioritize winning. And if you don't prioritize winning as a head coach, you won't be here for long. And that's what happened to Teresa Weatherspoon. 13 and 27, and down the stretch, they played even worse. They, they didn't progress. And maybe if we saw progression going down the end of the season, maybe she keeps her job. But And y'all going to say, oh, they had injuries. Even before the injuries, they started playing bad. They weren't playing good. They weren't playing as a cohesive unit. All they were worried about was a double-double record. And the double-doubles ultimately didn't get them any wins. It didn't make their team better because double-doubles were rebounding. is just rebounding, especially when their offense are rebounding off your own missed shots. Are those really stats that are helping the team win? No, they weren't. And they weren't winning. Y'all going to tell me that this is a young team. Well, guess what? Teresa Weatherspoon is known for being – Somebody who's known for development, developing players. And we didn't see any development going on with this team. Actually, they went down. They spiraled down. And you have Camila Cardosa down there. It's a big man on the roster who actually can, can score it at a decent clip, over a 52% clip. And she gets seven shots a game. Meanwhile, Angel Reese is getting over double-digit shots per game. Now, granted... A lot of those shots were her shooting it and getting her own rebound and still finding her way to force it back up rather than three people being around me. Maybe I kick it out. But kick it out to who? To, to a shooter? Oh, snap. They can't shoot. They traded their best shooter midseason. <laughs> you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. So when you prioritize... Bad basketball and seeming to want to stat pad for a player, the organization said, Hey, we see where this is going. We're done with it. And y'all saying she should have got another year. Why? <laughs> They've seen enough. I don't have to give you another year. You're not guaranteed two years. If I see that this is not going, getting better or i don't see any light at the end of the tunnel we're ending this experiment now and we're finding somebody else who can get the job done because at the end of the day the chicago sky had a decent enough roster to finish better than what they, they did kennedy carter is a stud she is a in my eyes, she's the woman's version of Allen Iverson, of how she could get to her shot anywhere on the court. She can blow by anybody. Nobody can stay in front of her. She shoots about 50% from the field. She can. She's, she's the best player on the team. And she can really play. She's a good guard. She's a top five guard in this league. Camila Cadosa, a good rookie big man or young lady big woman. Whatever you want to call it. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. She's was a top five pick for a reason because she can play. She's a space eater. She's somebody who can who can make layups. 
She's somebody who can post up. She's somebody who can finish. Good player. Marina Mabry. Somebody who's shown that she can come off the bench and score 27 points. Who can flat out shoot it. Although she didn't shoot it good with Chicago this year. She shot it around 34%. But nobody's leaving her open. Nobody said, oh, that's Marina. Let me not go out there and, and run her off the line. Let me not deny her the ball. Let me not make sure I can test her shot. Because they know deep down that that girl can shoot no matter what her percentage is. Even Y'all saw Steph Curry shoot under 40%. And I guarantee people still ran out there and respected him. And that's what Mabry did. And that's when she got to the Suns, you see she shoots the ball at a forty over a 40% clip from three. That's somebody else on their rosters averaging over 14 points a game. Who can play basketball? She can hoop. She can score. That's a good player. Izzy Harrison. She's a good, she's a good backup big. She can play. She's okay. She's nice with it. Off the bench, she can play. Lindsey Allen, she's a good backup guard. But they couldn't put it together. And why can't they put it together? I got to come to the head coach. Your job, you, you're, you're in the NBA, and they said that you can develop players. So when you come to this young roster, develop them. Get them right. Be the boys. So you're well respected. They don't just get a, get well respected people out the league if they they will give you another chance if you're well respected, especially somebody like her who was a you know WNBA champion, somebody who was a you know Hall of Famer in this league. They're gonna give you another chance. Not if that shit is going to crap. <laughs> not if it's not worth it. Not if we see what you're doing. Not prioritizing winning. Just that's what she did. You know, she wasn't a good coach. She didn't make in-game adjustments. She didn't make halftime adjustments. Fire. <laughs> Fire. And then this is what Angel Reese said. Guys, you had a tough job. All the crazy circumstances that we went through this year, when your back was against the wall, you believe. I came to Chicago because of you. This is the, this is the play you're coaching. I came to Chicago because of you. Angel Reese, you were drafted to Chicago. You didn't come to Chicago because of her. She's so narcissistic that she doesn't even understand it. She said, I came to Chicago because of you. You were an unsung hero in my life. We built a relationship in a short amount of time that will last forever. I'll never question God why he brings people in my life and takes them away in the capacity that I need them. But I always believe everyone in your life for a reason and a season. You were the best, see, you were the best reason and season. What? You didn't deserve this, but I can't thank you enough. I love you, Spoon. That just shows you that the brass didn't even go to who y'all think is the best player on their team. Usually when somebody is that good, they at least go and talk to that player before they make a big decision like this because they don't want to upset that player. Chicago don't give a fuck if they upset Angel Reese because they know what she is and what she will be as a player. She'll be okay. She'll be good. But she's not a first option. Not yet. She's not the second option. On this team, she should have been the fourth option. Maybe fifth. She should be a hustle player. A person who gets the rebounds. Maybe kick it out. If you buy yourself, take the layup. Will she make it? Will she not? I don't know. But she shouldn't be forcing it like she's prime Shaq. Prime Hakeem. Joker. Any big. For that instance, they can make a layup or with around, with more than one person around them. Shit, sometimes without zero people around. Them. The team was built wrong. They, sh they, they couldn't shoot three-pointers. 
They they made a league low four threes a game. 4.5. Won't get it done. But you know what we'll do? Trade our shooter. <laughs> can't make this up, man. I, you can't make this up. Can't make it up. I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, where do you go next with this team? Um, a lot of things on the inside has to be changed. The perspective of this team has to change. They, they, they play with grit. I'll give you that for the most part. But the X's and O's, the Y's, the How's, that didn't make any sense. Locker room issues. It spewed out. That team didn't like each other. You could tell. As soon as Marina Mabry went to another team, Kennedy Carter tried to fuck her up. She was just there a week ago. Now, I, I, I'll go hard against a person, but not in a in a sense like we were never friends. Like, I, a former teammate who, who I'm close with, I'm gonna talk crap. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, but I'm gonna make sure that they're okay after I club club or club them. Cause I, I I still care about that person. But when you don't care, you do things like Chicago Sky did. You could tell the locker room was fractured. And the main reason it was fractured, and it showed when a certain player was playing for their double-double records and when they didn't give her the ball when they were getting blowed out. She was a couple points away, and she clapped her hand. You could see the, the, the disgust look on players' faces about what was going on with this team. I, it doesn't. <laughs> Hey, y'all keep thinking I'm trying to pile on on Angel Reese. I'm not trying to pile on on Angel Reese. I don't care. But she puts herself in the news. She came out and she still made Teresa Weatherspoon getting, she made it about her. She still find a way to make Teresa Weatherspoon getting fired about her. She seems to do that about everything rather than it being about the team. And fortunately, Teresa Weatherspoon got caught up in it. And she let Angel Reese run the show. And I'll tell you what, as a head coach, I'm not letting anybody who's a big on my roster <laughs> run the show if they can't even make a layup by themselves. They shoot 40% from the field. You won't get me fired. It won't be you that get me fired. It'll be somebody else, but it won't be you. But Teresa Weatherspoon, let it happen. Under her watch, will she find another job? Will she go somewhere else? Who knows? But the Chicago Sky is going in another direction. And what that means for Angel Reese, I don't know. What that means for the rest of the roster, I don't know. But hopefully, it means they find somebody who can figure this thing out and put these players in a position to succeed. They weren't put in a position to succeed this year. And now they're paying for it. That's what I got, man. It's point guard perspective. Teresa Weatherspoon's fired. She's out of there. Chicago Sky. We're still talking WNBA. I don't know why, but we had a. That's the last. That's the last time I'll talk about the Chicago Sky for the rest of the season. And the playoffs are going on. And the WNBA, they find another reason in their marketing scheme to fuck it up. They have the WNBA playoffs going on today on Football Sunday. That's who you want to compete against. You got. Tuesday to play ball, Wednesday, nothing's going on. Thursday, Thursday night football, at least that's only one game. Friday night, 
take advantage of those days. Not the WNBA. We want you NFL football. I, I don't get it. I don't get this league. I don't get it sometimes. But this is another edition of Point Guard Perspective. Y'all hit that follow button. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Was Teresa Weatherspoon fired? F firing? Was it? Did she deserve it? Yes or no? Y'all let us know. Hit that bell. Um, follow us. Subscribe. Let us know what you think. This is Point Guard Perspective. This is Nick Taylor. Come on now to podcast. Boom. Deuces, baby. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,